G'day, I'm Greg Murphy, and today I have the pleasure of introducing you to the hero of the Gen F range, the greatest performance production vehicle ever built in Australia, the HSV Gen F GDS. So straight away, taking a look at the front of the GDS, you can see the integrated and sophisticated lines of the car, incorporating a very aggressive low stance with shallow ramp angles. Under the bonnet is something special, and there's a lot of power there. So to cool that power, we need some huge air intakes, which we have here. And incidentally, they are 74,000 square millimeters bigger than the outgoing E-Series GTS. Under the bonnet of the Gen F GDS is the LSA 6.2 liter supercharged V8, producing a mouthwatering 430 kilowatts of power and 740 newton meters of torque. So there is no doubt that this is the most powerful performance production vehicle ever built in Australia. On the lower part of the front of the car, we have the daytime running lamps, which now work concurrently with the headlight, which means they can be seen at night time. And discreetly integrated into the front fascia are the front park assist sensors. So moving down the side of the new GTS, we come to the very impressive all new 20 inch blade forged alloy wheel in satin graphite. Housed inside there is the all new forged alloy AP6 piston braking package. Not only is this lighter, but it also provides greater braking performance and it has been developed in conjunction with NASCAR and V8 supercar technology. After an extensive evaluation and testing process, Continental were chosen as the exclusive Gen F tyre supplier. These tyres have been tuned to specific HSV needs and provide outstanding performance in both wet and dry conditions. The GDS also features pitch black fender vents and pitch black mirror scalps. Now the mirrors also house the side blind zone alert indicators which is a convenience feature and also improves peripheral awareness. Remote start which is standard on automatic vehicles not only allows you to remotely start the vehicle but it also activates the climate control. Passive entry feature means that I don't have to take the keys out of my pocket. One touch of the silver button here unlocks the driver's door, two touches unlocks all the doors, and then simply climb in. From the very first moment you climb aboard the GTS, it's very easy to see the levels of craftsmanship that have gone into the production of this vehicle. From the very stylish appliques right down to the suede finish on the dash. With performance seats in leather trim, eight-way electric adjustment, and seat heaters on both the driver and front passenger seats, there has been no compromise when it comes to comfort. You can see here the distinctive HSV graphics on the instrument cluster, and down below here, just above the GTS ID plate, are the new additional sports gauges. The gauge on the left is the oil pressure. The gauge on the right is the new boost gauge, which allows the driver to see the pressure at which the air-fuel mixture is being forced into each individual combustion chamber. Starting the LSA engine is simple with this push-button start. This also allows us to see some of the other features, such as EDI. The driver preference dial allows the driver to control the following electronic systems in the vehicle without making the process too complex, which is great in a car as advanced as the Gen F GDS. At the turn of this dial, I can change from touring to sport to performance and then track mode, which will vary the settings of ESC, traction control, launch control on manual transmissions, electric power steering, MRC, torque vectoring, and bimodal exhaust. Electric power steering is now a part of every Gen F model. Featuring two modes, it now provides the driver with a more responsive feel. SatNav is standard along with automatic park assist, which takes the guesswork out of reversing into a tight spot. The vehicle automatically detects the best route and steers the vehicle into it. The driver continues to control the brake and the throttle. Some other important features to note within the driver environment, and this one is a favourite of mine, is the head-up display. Originally developed for fighter jets, what it does is allow the driver to see important information without having to take their eyes off the road. Forward collision alert scans the road ahead up to 14 times per second and applies brake pressure when a collision is anticipated. The lane departure warning system also provides visual and audible alerts if any unintentional lane departure is made. Both of these features can be activated using the buttons in the leather-wrapped steering wheel. Replacing the cumbersome lever-style park brake is a push-button electric version. The Gen F GDS features the TR6060 MG9 spec manual transmission as standard. 
It's also available with the optional 6L90E six-speed automatic transmission with Active Select. So taking a look now at the rear end of the Gen F GDS, we can see how it integrates the sophisticated lines of the front end and incorporates that with a newly designed deck lid and a brand new HSV Superflow rear spoiler. Along with the unique LED tail lamps are the supercharged LSA and GDS badges. Just above the shadow chrome quad exhaust tips are the rear park assist sensors, integrated really nicely into the rear fascia. And housed just above the number plate is the reversing camera. And also, inside the rear quarter panel is the radar module for the reverse traffic alert system. The new GDS now features the Generation 3 MRC, which has three independent settings and now runs the dual coil pistons, which results in faster response times and greater body control. A new performance technology item on the GDS and something that I really like is an Australian production vehicle first. It's called Torque Vectoring and it uses the ESC system to detect if the vehicle is beginning to understeer. If it is, it will help correct it. So there you have it, the most powerful performance production vehicle ever built in Australia and it is packed full of class leading technology. The all new HSV Gen F GDS.